Hey friends, welcome to the Station Cafe Happy Hour. This is April from Penguins Creative, and we have Kelly from Kelly Love Letters here with me today. And we're gonna talk about all things stationery. So join us for the drinks, and we'll talk about something new, something old, and something in our shopping cart. Hey Kelly, how's it going? Hey, it's good. Um, we are actually recording on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the day off, so we can include all the news that just released. It's it's crazy. There's a lot going on this week. <laughs> <laughs> I know TRC never stops working, huh? <laughs> <sighs> Everything. So, what are you drinking tonight? I've just got my water. I actually, you know, these Starbucks. This is a venti size, and mm -hmm. um, wow, that's this, so huge. huge. But this this uh, straw <laughs> is like so teeny tiny. Well, it it's, like barely pokes up from the top of the cap. <laughs> it's because I, you know, when you're in your car and you're like, when you're parked, of course. But when yeah. you're parked and then you're like looking in the back seat and you're and then you like end up leaning over and I I like. Put it pink in this um in wow. my old straw, so I had to replace it. But I need to actually replace it with one that fits correctly. <laughs> so you broke the old straw, basically. Yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> well, I'm just having some leftover tea from the morning. Ooh, I actually I like that mug. Yeah, it's a cute mug, right? Um, oh, only viewers can see this, but <laughs> it's a very beautiful mug. And it's I have like, like light blue shaped a little bit like a fuji mountain it is yeah um i got my tea bag from this morning re-steamed <laughs> re-steeped twice already i, I can't i can't <laughs> with that and so i'm just working on the third cup basically hey it's a 16 ouncer so i had a lot of tea today <laughs> it's reminding me of like my dad used to like talk smack about one of his friends that like when they would go camping together this particular friend would like um use the same coffee grounds for another cup <laughs> and he's like he doesn't know how to make coffee <laughs> <laughs> that's funny <sighs> well let's plunge right into today's topic should do you want to start or should i start this time um you can start okay so this one <laughs> It's really cool. So I, I know a lot of us gets into the fountain pen world with a beginner pen. And we would always say, hey, the Kaweco Sports or the Kakuno Pilot Kakunos. You know, they're like super cheap, super adorable, really beginner friendly because the nib is super consistent. And plus the bonus, the nib smiles at you or winks yes. at you or like do a little bunch of cute feature. I think there was like I think three designs, one for M, mm -hmm. one for fine, or sorry, two designs, one for M nibs and one for fine nibs, medium and fine. And so Kakuno had just released a really adorable new edition. They've done editions before where it's like the barrel color or like collaborations with Pokemon or something like that. But this one, they actually kind of tinkered with the smiley face on the Kakunos to create a family series. Mm -hmm. Super cute. So you have Kakuno Papa, Kakuno Mama, Kakuno Boy, Girl, and Kakuno Baby. <laughs> and they come in these clear, do I call them demonstrators? Clear barrels, so like tinted, right. tinted with colors. Really yeah, pretty. so it's it's like transparent but still color. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you can kind of see the ink through the pen body. And well, well, first of all, the pen color, the barrel itself is really like bright and cheerful. There's like this mm -hmm. neon yellow, the slight shade of violet, teal, pink, and blue. And the face. So That's Kaku so good. Kakuno Papa has a beard. So that laser I must wavy. have that i must have kakuno papa <laughs> and a little bow tie kakuno mama has like a pearl necklace that's what i assume it is like there's like a little yeah. thing by its neck and then with like these little eyelashes eyelashes that like tilt to the side kakuno boy looks a little i feel like standard to the original yeah. smiley it face. looks kind of like the normal one yeah and Kakuno Girl has a little 
bow at the at the neck area with like singular eyelash to both eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the mama one has two. Um, and then finally <laughs> the akajan, the little baby one. I was like, is this a clown? And then I realized, oh no, that's a pacifier. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a little pacifier. Like, okay, so basically April like sent me this on Discord when I was at work, and I just happened to like see it because I usually don't see discord and then I was staying next to my manager and I like screamed and I was like oh my god look at this she's like what oh my god so and I feel like on um pilot's instagram like the post that they introduced Mm -hmm. this in it's not actually easy to see that the features the features yeah but the photo you sent me was really good. <laughs> I know. You had to kind of zoom in. I bet they're slowly teasing it. And so available yeah. in both F and medium nibs. and No EF? No EF. Just no F. EF for Akachan? <laughs> <laughs> just F. Baby. And, oh, right. There is the EF for the regular lineup. So they have three for the regular lineup. Yeah. So these oh, are av- I see. These are available starting March 1st. I don't know when they'll get to retailers in the U.S., but... They're so cute. <laughs> they're really adorable. Oh, and this... Sorry, this neon green one was supposed to be yellow, I guess, but... Oh, the co- really? The color looks really... Yeah, cute yellow. Me. Yeah, you're not yellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the pink, though. That one's cute. I feel like I would gift these. I won't necessarily grab one for myself just because mm-hmm. I'm like way i graduated way beyond even kakuno <laughs> papa already like <laughs> so, oh God, that's so cute. in the fountain pen world so um, but i think these are great like kind of like um what do you call it like toe dipping mm-hmm. type pens if you want to enable a friend you know the like, gateway drug yes the gateway <laughs> item <laughs> yeah. to, to get people into this so i i just thought it was really cute mm-hmm. You know, they're trying to innovate, but I do think people really, per- really like the previous collaboration they did that was not really super widely announced, but was on Tokyo Pen Shop, the Pikachu and the Pokemon wow. collaborations. Yes. There's one I with... I never got the, the what, oh, I really people, want the Gengar. I was, I was like, what is that Gangstar? <laughs> like, what's the name? <laughs> I know, my, our friends are going to kill me for, for like not knowing names of pokemon even the first generation but the gengar one was super cute it's purple and it's got like the whole the whole body illustrated on it yeah. and then i think there's an ev one too so well, i need the cute. gengar one because i think that's the only thing that would get my brother into fountain pens <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah the only downside with kakuno is that they dry out really fast because I, they i do agree with that yeah they have a hole on the top of the cap I don't know why, but maybe it's to induce flow. I don't know why. But. Yeah, I don't really get it either. But it's it's one of those one of those things. But I have to say, freshly inked up Kakunos writes like a dream. It's just yes. that the nib is so consistent. It's just like yeah. really really nice. And yeah. I actually still have, of course, it's probably buried um, right here. This is a Kakuno um, in an extra fine that I always keep inked with. What is that called? Platinum carbon black. Oh, nice. The the This the, is like, the one you can permanent. go hard on. This is the pen you can go hard on with any. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the ones you don't get. Because it's, yeah. it's yeah, a driver. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't put this in a sailor, but because it's just, I think I paid like, you know, what, $14 for that. So it's mm-hmm. just, boom. I forgot to mention the other beginner pen is the platinum. Sorry, platinum puppy. That was a good one too. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So what's your item? So I don't often know about Kawakos before they launch. And I was like, I knew about this already. But, <laughs> uh, and I think it's been news, I don't know, for at least a, a week or so. But mm-hmm. I want to talk about it now because we didn't touch on it yet. The new Kawako. So there's a Kawako Sport collection edition mm-hmm. and there's also a Kaweco Lilliput that's is the new... collection edition the one that the olive came with like yes I see oh, okay. the interesting on, colors go. are called Kaweco <laughs> collection I mean what do they used to call it just Kaweco sports yeah Kaweco sport is the normal one but actually um I have these I also have one more that I'm intending to wait sell three pens so that's the olive lavender lavender 
Levant. No, yeah. that's the platinum. Lavender and then the coral one. Am I right? Yep. The Kaweco Sport like insignia and collector's edition were kind of like imprinted onto the coral one. I see. It wasn't like foil stamped like these other ones are. Like this one says Kaweco Collection. I see. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, they they started doing these and people, definitely not me, definitely me, <laughs> um, started buying these because it was like, ooh, it's a collector's edition. So in theory, after the year is over, it won't be available anymore. With that being said. The like, olive is still available. <laughs> the olive's still available. I, I think, I don't know. They produce enough for it to be available the year after. Yeah. <laughs> But maybe, I don't know, maybe like five years down the line. Wait, it's like but this not new one, the... what's the color? Yeah. You haven't oh, even said yeah. it yet. Oh my god. So the new one is called Iridescent Pearl, and it looks like a mermaid, okay? It's like if Kaweco and a mermaid got together. <laughs> <laughs> had a baby. Had a baby, it would be this pen. And it's, okay, so I already know the ink that goes in it. It's uh, Sailor Manyo Haha. <laughs> perfectly go into that pen because that ink is also kind of multi shade or chroma shading as uh, toasty says toasty <laughs> um uh, but i know she's gonna pick one of these up for sure <laughs> I mean, these are these are beautiful and they're I'm, so good like i said again i'm not a big kawako fan but if i'm a collector this is a must like the color is just very interesting you can see the green and then the pink and the blue mm-hmm. and the purple just all across the whole body and it's not as oil stainy as like the iris like the twisty right. iris one that one has a really like that one take iridescent to like the next level but this one's like yeah muted and a just muted. just enough to have that extra something but yes. not too much not feeling like i don't know wait i can't say that too early i was about to say it doesn't <laughs> feel like you're holding something plasticky but we don't know when I, I mean, held the Kaweco <laughs> for the first time, I felt it was cla- plasticky. But well, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's literally just a piece of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know um, how like some color could make a few extra, like if it comes in like a neon yellow or something, <laughs> it would feel extra <laughs> cheap, like dollar store. Like this one, yes. the mutedness like doesn't look as cheap as it might have. Yeah. Sound. Yeah. So, and I guess a better way to describe it, um, rather than just saying mermaid, <laughs> is like, yeah, like April was saying, kind of muted, uh, muted pastel, but still shiny in a way. Like, like a, the like pearl. A, yeah. Like a pearl or like a mermaid scale glistening uh. in the, in the light. <laughs> As if it's a real thing. <laughs> yeah, you know. Haven't you guys seen mermaid scales? Come on. Um, nice. So, uh, like, me and all my coworkers are like, yeah, we're gonna, we're not gonna wait for this. We're gonna buy this full price because we, we don't want to wait. <laughs> um, Love it. Yes, the other one is the Kaweco Lily Put Green Limited Production. Ooh. So, obviously, green is something that that we are both drawn to. Um, but the thing about this is, like, so the Kaweco Lily Put, I'm sure. April, do you know about the fire blue? It's the um, each one is hand torched, so it's got that kind of yeah, that really like, worn out, aged look. Yeah, yeah, like coppery with like hints of blue, mm-hmm. and I don't know. I get guys all the time that say I could just do this, and I'm like, cool. Why don't you do it then? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like marked up because each one is hand torched, but yeah. mm-hmm. um. This pen, it's only $60 and <laughs> only, um, and it's the same, uh, it's, I think it's the same type of like light metal that the, mm. there's a silver lily put and there's also a black lily put that are kind of like, they're super light to the point where you wouldn't even know you're holding it. Oh, wow. Okay. And I... I'm personally not so into that. Like, they also make a stainless steel lily put that's a lot heavier. Mm-hmm. It's like $100 or $110. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, the th- I don't know if I would like holding this very, very light green pen, but it's very beautiful. It's, like, lo- much longer than... I feel like once it's, like, capped, the, he- the whole pen body felt very long compared to the 
because the the style of the lily put, I don't know. It looks very long to me. I would I would say that it's not much different than like posting a Kaweco sport because it's really wow. Okay, yeah. so it's also in that small pen kind of. It's like, small category. and skinny. Okay, I think it's the skinniness, skinniness yeah. <laughs> that makes it looks very like lengthy. So yeah, mm. but there's also the Supra edition of the lily put pen that is large. It's mm. large and in charge. Got it. Um, but yeah, the little baby is, I don't know, it's, they're really cute pens and I've always wanted the fire blue one, but I don't know. It's... I'm not into this green. It's too <gasps> metallic and like, oh my gosh, mm, retro to, for me, like it's oh, like, retro, huh? <laughs> yeah, it looks like, like retro as in like diner carts, you know, like kind of uh-huh. that old school i can sort of i can sort of see that neon sign stainless uh-huh. steel exterior Maybe that's why i like it though i think yeah <laughs> it's too much for me <laughs> but yeah. and of course i will i will love getting it in my hands and telling people how i feel after you'll that, get but... to try it out yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. can't wait awesome so we're, moving on we're gonna to... talk about one more pen though Oh, oh, the other Kaweco, the Sakura one that came out. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> April was just like, what about that? And it was, who, who posted it? It was some, like, pen. <laughs> CY? <laughs> some pen. Oh, did CY? CY? Yeah. CY. <laughs> some person. And she was like, oh, there's a pink um, Kaweco All Sport. It was, ca- it's called Sakura Lucent. <laughs> <laughs> like translucent but sakura lucent um and it's a it's like a metal kaweco sport like this one i have here but it's um it's all pink mm-hmm. and it's not rose gold because there is already a rose gold one but it's like specifically more metallic pink mm. and shinier than this one uh, wow. that i have okay but uh I remember I saw it when I was in Japan and I didn't buy it because I was like, oh, I don't want to pay retail for a Kaweco Sport. And I'm like, oh, man, it's so cute. Though. It reminds me of the same pink as the Hello Kitty one that came out. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think mm-hmm. it is. And yeah. it's just like a special Japanese edition. So it's I believe it's a re-release. I see. I see. Just like the Sailor Kakri um fountain pen that they always create a uh, release with plus around cherry blossom season mm-hmm. and then i have one from last year it was like a blue one with like pink cherry blossom ma- uh, macchiate on it um but is it is it considered macchiate i think so and then the, so mm-hmm. this one's like a re-release of the year before because it's like a gold body like a yellowish body is that, with is the, cherry the same blossom. one I, I, feel, feel like... I feel like it's the same one. Maybe, maybe it is. April was just throwing shade. <laughs> I'm just like, thank God, because last year and so many like people were saying, oh, what if next year they came up with the green one with the cherry blossom? Then right. April, you're screwed and you should have <laughs> bought too early. Um, but I'm just Now glad. you have time to save. Yeah. I'm For, wa- for next year. <laughs> my wallet is safe. For now, <laughs> yes. for now, we we don't know what's what's coming out yet. You know, I feel like it's still cherry blossom season. We're in the yeah. thick of it. It is. It really is. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah. It actually gives me some inspiration to maybe do a maquillage of something on my own little thing over here. Oh, it's so, so cute! I have the it's Plotter so Mini Five, also called the Micro Five M Five, whatever you want to call it. They're five rings. I got it at the San Francisco Pen Show last year in bridal green. So it's a really, really nice cute. waxy green color. And since you we go were talking, really well with this pen we were, I have, this Kaweco. <laughs> That that's was a like metallic a green. Match. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice color. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I'm thinking, should I paint some cherry blossom on this? <laughs> Ooh, you should. That'd be really cute. Maybe on yes. the inside, maybe like discreet, like just big blotches of pink. I have to ask Phyllis. She's the expert on customization. But that's true. I haven't been using it. <laughs> so I came up with like a new idea to reignite my, you know, fun interactiveness with this. Okay. And it's to gamify my diet plan for the oh. upcoming two months before my trip to Taiwan because I'm going to gain so much weight from eating nice. so much good stuff in Taiwan. <laughs> I need to lose them in advance to... I like that you're planning gaining weight. 
<laughs> yes. That's I'm great. so going to gain weight in Taiwan. Like, Well, you've got to enjoy all the stuff. I'm not. There's only a limited time. I'm not stopping myself from anything. <laughs> like, No words of guilt or like shame from any of my family members can stop me from eating from five street food stalls in one night. So yes. there's, there's that. I love that for you. <laughs> so in my uh, little mini five plotter, I actually have the monthly schedule. Oh, that, it's like, so tiny. That, uh, it's super <laughs> tiny. It's like super cute, super oh. tiny, the size of my palm. Oh, my gosh. And I've been having trouble, you know, writing in it because I don't know what exactly to write. So in this gamification of accountability that I have, that ins- was inspired from a conversation with Job because he was also like, I need to move mm. more and stuff. So I'm like, yeah. Job. What if we both become accountability buddies oh, through cute. our mutual ownership of Plotter Micro 5? Yes, <laughs> Plotter. that's great. And so what we're doing is basically we have two goals for each day. One is we're trying intermittent fasting, which is not too bad. You basically only eat in the window from 12 o'clock to 8, and the rest mm. of the time does not eat it's not anything. Terrible. It's not terrible. It's a normal, like past breakfast I also wake up. i don't do that time. but anyway um so one goal is intermittent fasting and the second goal is what we call movement so <laughs> movement is so general it could include walking going up and down the stairs dancing to a song yoga anything like i i would hate it if i'm like i have to run 20 minutes every day or something like that right or, or walk 45 minutes every day no none of that just simple movement is sufficient for our yeah. very, very small goals. And That's so I, great. I use the <laughs> Zig Metallic Dot Pen. And basically, the each block is enough for two dots. And that's it. Uh-huh. And I would just dot if I have movement or if I have intermittent fasting on that day. And so I'm just going to... That's great. Fill up this little calendar with dots. Um, you know and- what? That's yeah. inspiring. I feel like too you know too many people not that not having bigger goals is a bad thing. I don't <laughs> think that at all. We have very but, big goals. <laughs> but but I feel like like starting that small and actually accomplishing it makes you more able to like commit to bigger goals. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And that's that's I just a, really like that. That's what Job and I are aiming to do is to really just yeah. start with really manageable action items each day <laughs> and so aside from the monthly um, refills on the back I have a bunch of, sh- bunch of like blank pages and what I'm doing is every day I would just put down a little sticker <laughs> and collage and then just write a sentence about today and about the whole about my thoughts about my intermittent fasting today or about my exercise for today. So like, for example, well, we started on the 21st. And so I said, oh, went on a walk with Cookie despite it being really, really cold outside. So cold. But we did it. And so that was my <laughs> entry for the day before. And yesterday oh! was Neko Day, um, February 22nd, 2022. Really, really because cute. It's- Nyan, 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 nyan. Nyan, nyan. <laughs> yeah, so in Japan, the number two, ni, sounds very much like the sound a cat would make. So, ni, 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 nyan, nyan, nyan. And so I just drew a big cat. And then oh. I, I wrote, it's so cold that I walk cookie anyway. So it's just Yay. like every day I have like this little singular tiny page of review about these two dots. You know, whether it's like, oh. I fasted, but I had a really nice lunch, you know, something like that. So gamified usage of my plotter and achieving the the bigger goal of a healthier lifestyle. Yeah. In the head of a very unhealthy <laughs> trip. <laughs> <company. laughs> yeah, you know, I think that's great. So yeah, I look forward <laughs> to writing in this every day now at the end of the day. So Yay. I just thought it was really cute. It's just so tiny. Imagine if I keep going and then the rest of the year I managed to keep doing this too. And then this book would just be the, like, you know how I like did all that stuff about health planner, keeping in weeks <laughs> and stuff. And all it took was a tiny, tiny micro five plotter to really get it going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. 
inspiring. <laughs> oh, so yeah, my my thing is, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but um, at Oblation, we have this like holiday party every year. We didn't have it during COVID, uh, or I mean, during 2020, mm-hmm. I should say, because we still are in COVID. Um, but uh, basically, we have the holiday party in February because it's there's too much going on during the actual holidays. <laughs> <laughs> and so how it works is um, like the bosses, you know, rent out a space for us to eat and drink and just yeah. have a merry, merry old time. And one of the things we do is exchange gifts. And ahead of time, you like, if you want to participate, you pick someone's name out of a hat mm. and then um, like a coworker, obviously. And, <laughs> and uh whoever you choose you have to make a handmade gift for so that's like the most fun part and everybody I work with is so creative and adorable and um so my coworker Addie got me and she made me this really cute pen roll Ah. um and I don't know I love it it, is it made of cloth that's so cute yeah it's I'm pretty sure this is like wool or something. Whoa. And she she does she has this she has like a studio and a whole other side business uh based on this like cuz she she prints on her own fabric and she mm. makes her own patterns and stuff. That's really um, cool. It's just really neat how many is in here. 1 2 3 4 five. There's five sections and there's one in the middle is like wider. Mhm. Um Nice. I don't know. She she knows me and and appreciates my pen love. And it's just a little <laughs> That's cute. A little lovely gift for my coworker. I love it. What did you make for your recipient? <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was really silly, but I, I ended up drawing um a picture of my coworker Miranda. She really likes aliens. So I drew this picture of her like linking arms with an alien and just like <laughs> <laughs> peace sign and i i actually colored i painted it with fountain pen ink oh, nice. so it ended up being pretty cool and uh and i had it framed and everything and oh, that's <laughs> this adorable. is really dumb but <laughs> i think you really like it <laughs> hey it's cute <laughs> she can put it on her desk side table you know yeah <laughs> that's awesome well moving on to something <laughs> oh my god Ava. that we want <laughs> I okay really, i let really me just want count. this i really want let me, this <laughs> let me count the times for okay it's either um uniball one or <laughs> fujisan eraser <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's literally all april wants i know all i want is uniball <laughs> one pants and a heck ton of fujisan erasers which i will never use up like i'm still working through <laughs> My first Fujisan, the original blue one. This, and this I, is my first one. <laughs> with that <little laughs> tiny, <laughs> tiny tent on one side. I love it. Um, my mine has gotten more though, like because I've been I've been using it to clean off like eraser the stamps. Gum. Uh, or, no, I've been using it to clean off um, tape gum from my oh. scissors. So oh, in, that's smart. In the end, I was kind of shaving off the eraser <laughs> by doing that. <laughs> I can't even find it right now, but um, oh. but I know but that's I, good because you need to do more. <laughs> I raved about the one I got from Yoseka, which is like the orange and the, the light orange. blue one with the yeah. Tokyo Tokyo motifs. I raved about the autumn one that came out with like six different patterns on the eraser case, and today we have Haru no Okashi, which means Ooh, I love that spring dessert theme, and it's pink so these fujisan eraser but from plus they are designed so that it has like a white center and the more you use it um like on two ends the more you can recreate the mountain top look with like the white top and so this pink is a very gentle and pale pink they have pink before for sakura season but this oh, one's yeah, like a did. A much more paler one mm-hmm. and it came out with again six freaking designs alongside the theme of like 
Jap- <gasps> iconic Japanese dessert oh, you would eat. The taiyaki is the you best would eat one. During the spring. My favorite is the daifuku, the strawberry mochi with the red bean. That one is really good too. So cute. And then there's one. it's got a strawberry. Yeah. And the other ones like um, Fuji, uh, no, the Sakura mochi. So mm-hmm. a pink uh, mochi dessert that's usually like Rat- I think it's more of like a cake. Um, I I suddenly oh yeah, out. you know that red bean pasty thing. It's kind of like I I hate to call it jelly. It's more more solid, but mm-hmm. I can't describe it. It's a Japanese pastry. And then the the three color dango. Where yes. it's like pink, white, and green. Is it the, Mitarashi Dango? I think so. I three think, co- yeah. And then they also had some on the side with just red bean, you know. It's not just the three color one. So I really, yeah. I, want oh, yeah. that, I want that. I want that the so most. Cute. And then the last yeah. one is like with Uguisu, which is that green mm-hmm. little bird. Uh, mm-hmm. The warbler. And then like the pink Okashi again, like a pink dessert. So... With little like tiny toothpick things that you used to eat, you, them. and those are also a like a mochi based thing. Yes, yes. <laughs> Usually yeah. made from like bean paste, like really, really um, mushed up beans. So it's like very mm-hmm. has a little bit of a texture, but these are so cute, and like they're they're really nothing too special except except for the you know the packaging. And yeah, of course. That's I want, what it's all about. I just want to buy the packaging. So <laughs> I love how it like comes and like, you know, when you see, when you buy it at like stationery or supply store, the the box that came with it and like they sit nicely next to each other in that box, <laughs> the display case. Like I want that whole thing. Like I just want to put know. it on my desk and I can pick which one I want to use to erase this day or something like that. <laughs> That's so extra. <laughs> 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 I I feel like by the end of April's I mean not that there will be an end but uh you know whenever your collection gets that big then that would be useful cuz you would have <laughs> how many does that fit Pro- it probably fits um at least 12 yeah or maybe at least... maybe even 18 of them <laughs> mm-hmm. I want it so I don't know how I can get that but maybe I can send it to Esther and have her scout it out at a loft or something because i'm pretty sure this will be everywhere in japan it's just not yeah. something people carry in stores outside of japan though it's too like limited edition except for yoseka got that one but they did get that one but i wonder if that one's because they wanted to it's like evergreen you know it's like very mm. applicable for all seasons and you can promote japan with it so i would right. think that that one is available because of that yeah, yeah. So that's me. What do you want? <laughs> oh, what do I want? Um, everything. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Other than everything. Well, you know, since I've been planning, uh, LOL, because I plan all the time, um, because April and I are going to be going to Washington, D.C. at the same time, um, Basically, I always do this thing where I try to, like, start a trip with a fresh traveler's notebook insert, Mm -hmm. but I I have so many, like, partially used inserts, (laughs) so I've gotten into the habit of, like, taking them apart and, uh, you know, like, maybe being like, oh, I literally used this for two or three pages, maybe I'll just put those pages somewhere else and, and... Yeah. So... So what I did was, um, it's it's a cover that I've had, I don't know, for a while. It's just your typical Midori Traveler's Company cover. Um, and so I've put, I've interspersed it with uh, the Tomoe River, the 013 mm-hmm. lightweight paper insert, yes. as well as just the plain white blank insert. Nice. Um, and so I'm excited because, you know, I'm going to that, um book convention called a polycon at the end of july and then i'm staying for the next weekend and going to the dc pen show so there's gonna be a lot to journal about and i don't know i just thought it would be nice because there are some days in there um that i will have free which is interesting and i don't know what i'm gonna do in dc so are you buying this travel planning stamp set from everything explorers (laughs) (laughs) sorry i thought that's what i was talking about (laughs) So the whole reason I brought that up 
is because, um, yeah, I want to buy this travel planning uh, stamp set from Everyday Explorers Go. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your train of thought just already going far ahead. And I was like, Kelly, we haven't even told everyone what you're, what you're wanting to buy. <laughs> yeah, so it's, um, I feel like it looks smaller than the other ones. Or is it the same size? Four by six? I Four guess it is the same is size. the same size. Um, but I love the Everyday Explorers Co. stamps that have um, this, what am I trying to do? Oh my gosh. The the text, like the these little text things. The prompts. The prompts. The prompts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so there's one that says like book flights, book hotels, buy tickets, free day to explore, you know. And I, I just think it'd be fun to have alongside to supplement all of the blank pages that I've put together. It tied in. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. No, this looks super cute. Did um, you buy this one already, April? No, this isn't this a new one? I don't know. I, don't, I think maybe it is an April or uh, February release. I don't have this one, but I have so many of hers. <laughs> and I feel like the old ones are like more than useful enough. So I haven't yeah. been looking or really wanting anything new. But hmm, maybe I should take a little browsy browse. <laughs> well, and I'll bring it with me so you can hang out with me and stamp them too. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. Nice. And finally, usually we wrap it up with some little fun news or new items or things that's mm-hmm. interesting. So if you are a hardcore Traverse Notebook, Traverse Company fan, you would have already heard about... Um, the new collaboration they just released. To be honest, I don't think it's like new uh, collaborator. They've always mm-hmm. had limited edition items at Starbucks Reserve Japan because they're like in the same neighborhood. Like if you're visiting Japan, you have to go to Nakameguro to see Traveler's Factory. And then like that nearby is Starbucks Reserve Japan where they have like the fancy design building, the special menu and then, of course, Traverse Notebook Special Edition Notebook and Refills available. And they had that came out. should be available in Seattle, but they're not because <laughs> cause Seattle's the first one. It's fine. I don't understand why they don't <laughs> see that happening in Japan and reach out to, like, also carry it as well. I don't know why the information <sighs> don't, like, share so yeah. if you're a Starbucks employee and like you want to get this Be fixed, the inside. DM me, <laughs> please. <laughs> I would love your your help. But anyway, um, they had already did two editions of special limited uh, refills. Mm-hmm. Like there was the first one is kind of pink oriented, the second one is blue oriented, and then the, it's got like the embossing, debossing on the leather cover. I I mm-hmm. personally have one in camel. But this year, they kind of came up with a, a limited edition kind of set of item that doesn't include mm-hmm. the notebook itself, the leather cover, but it has the regular refill, it has the passport refill, a really cool water bottle with like a brass top that looks very like reserve style mm-hmm. yeah, products, it does. <laughs> um, a Sakura charm that Kelly screamed the at. Best. Yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't not have that, <laughs> is the thing. <laughs> a really adorable, rose skull looking even charm that's in the shape of a cherry blossom flower. It's the most perfect thing I've ever seen. I know, it's super adorable. <laughs> I had it's the charm <laughs> where it's like the round brass one with the Starbucks R, the reserve R oh, yeah. on it. I have that one too. So this one's going to be cherry blossom <laughs> style and then a washi tape. And then their tote bag. And this time the theme is around like promoting the entire neighborhood. So of Nakameguro. Ha- of Nakameguro. Yeah. So there's like the, the canal, there's like a bike on it, and the building of Starbucks Reserve, obviously. So it's, it's really, really cute. cute. And I'm sure we'll a little sp- croissant too. Ah uh, yes. Oh. I wonder if it's also, to promote one of the bakery nearby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. April, it does. I can't figure out, well, I guess it literally says on here, doesn't it? Um, is there also a pencil board? A pencil? No. That's the sticker sheet that comes with. A sticker sheet? The passport refill. Yes. Oh, my Oh, gosh. and then there's a mug, too. But then that mug is more of, like, the, the reserve style mugs, less of, mm-hmm. like, a, a Traverse Notebook Diner mug. So, it's super cute. I think uh, hardcore fans spotted this on the 
Starbucks Japan website where they released it before Traverse Notebook even talked about it. Um, so annoying. <laughs> and then there's another news um, for fans oh, of yeah. the Superior Labor. You will see on their social media, Nat Village, Superior Labor, everyone, they announced it. Basically, uh, Kurashiki, no, Kurashiki is the area in Okayama that is basically the the birthplace of like washi tape <laughs> and like a lot of like classic classic like Japanese wa stationery mm-hmm. and the superior labor is based there in Okayama nearby mm-hmm. but they're going to be opening a a retail store i think their first self-owned retail store in Kurashiki city um and at the same time, it's gonna be a Traverse Notebook factory, like a traveler's factory. So cool! So it's like a partner shop and factory at the same time, because they're also going to be offering the superior labor customization oh. on your notebooks. Oh my goodness! So they're gonna be very uh, lit, <laughs> very very lit, <laughs> and I think it's gonna put. Uh, Kurashiki gonna put Okayama on the map for totally. Traverse Notebook enthusiasts or stationary enthusiasts basically because most people go to Japan their first stop is like Tokyo you know right or Osaka or Kyoto but Okayama has a lot to offer it's a great region like with a lot of nature and just like really good food too and I, I definitely am adding that to my list of detour <laughs> from, <sighs> from in my yeah, Japan trip it's... It's a little exhausting having all these places to go. (laughs) (laughs) I know, right? And then, yeah, the first official customization store. That's exciting because um, I I think for a while, Bomb Kuhen had the Truly Your Service, but it has Mm -hmm. been suspended for for a period of time. I think they had utilized the craft and the expertise of the superior labor to do that Mm -hmm. in the first place. Um, when I interviewed yeah, Ame on my podcast, she was sent to the Superior Labor to get training in like nap no village. No way! Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> and so you're basically seeing the origin, like the OG like brand that works at Traverse um, Company on many counts, um, and then so be too. customized by the Superior Labor themselves. It's just <laughs> going to be amazing. But yeah. yeah, I'm super excited. I'm so excited for Esther too because she's definitely. Yeah. This is definitely one of the big uh, news she was holding out on me, and when it came <laughs> nice. out, I was like, Ah, Esther, hold yeah. it all. Congratulations! I will have to go to Net Village now. Now that you know you are part of this project, please take me everywhere in Kurashiki <laughs> and you know Okayama. I, I will. I will love to visit you again. <laughs> finally ending this episode kelly what do you have to share well you know we i don't know if i talked about this already i don't think i did but we just at oblation papers and press where i work we just started this new kind of section of pens in the store and they're in the store they are also available online which is cool um it's called nearly new and uh they're pens that we've bought from at this point just two different people that just wanted to kind of rehome their pens and sell, <laughs> sell them to us and um it's a new thing that we're doing we're still kind of figuring out how it's going but uh we've gotten quite a few and basically they're like most of them are f- for all intents and purposes they're like they're new mm-hmm. but we call them nearly new because technically they have been owned by someone but they're is in very good condition jason? <laughs> just, just literally what one of the guys is jason <laughs> <laughs> i was like wait 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 that sounds all too familiar <laughs> i mean yeah. i i feel like we all have a nearly new <laughs> from jason <laughs> right yeah in our lifetime um, but the other guy that that brought him in he actually has some with like custom grinds on them Ooh, and interesting. it's it's just a cool thing we're offering, and I thought I would mention it. Not the, sponsored. The Sailor Pro <laughs> Gear Bunku Box Tsuyu Hikari fountain pen. That green with the translucent body and the white top. 
Yeah. Is this sold um, already? No, it's not sold. It is on there, and it is a Kelly is keeping her eye on it pen. But <laughs> it's oh man, it's so pretty. You know, I, I'm I looking scream. through and just like looking at all the green yeah. pens. You know, oh the, yeah, the Sailor 1911 Epinart without the rings. Beautiful. Yes, the ringless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, another Sailor Pro Gear Ivory with the black section. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. And that, yeah, that one's a music nib that's been ground to, I believe, a cursive italic. I think it says on there. Yeah. Wow. Um, I love it. Yeah. I love that. Is it like your idea to make this happen? Like your love for um, stationery and all things pen? <laughs> I just love it. Actually, it wasn't. It was totally like, because <laughs> the first guy my boss ron he like he he is a vintage and restoring guy right yes he is kind of like that guy (laughs) but the the first guy that he met up with is like a guy he's done business with in the past and they had some kind of typewriter and guitar exchange along with the pen so it was this whole (laughs) there was this whole like vintage slash nearly Mm -hmm. new uh throw down <laughs> i love it and so after that jason was like hey um i want to do that too <laughs> <laughs> here's my pens i'm de-stashing that i literally just bought from you guys two years ago yeah, i mean that might be true <laughs> <laughs> sorry jason we love you and support we do. your hobby <laughs> and by the way we can i can i just get a poll on here because um I keep telling Jason because he's been like, oh, yeah, I kind of want to do like pen stuff on Instagram like he wants to post. But he's like, oh, but nobody cares. You know, we care. Nobody wa- Jason. And I was like, what? I we- talk about you all the time. Like everybody wants to see. So he has a little he- fan fan group. <laughs> yeah, I, <Somewhere> out there. <laughs> I just want I just want people to come at him and be like, please post pen content because i i haven't even seen all of his pens like in one big thing i'm like i want to (laughs) see that would be cool enrich the content of (laughs) the fountain pen world yes (laughs) (laughs) and on that note thank you guys for listening to the stationing cafe podcast happy hour today um as always we will post the show notes in the form of an instagram post on our instagram account the stationing cafe you can find us there and maybe, you know, DM us if you want to join our little community on Discord. And Kelly and I always look forward to bringing you another fun episode next week. Oh, and our Patreon. I forgot. Yes. Support us on <laughs> Patreon because we have a Patreon <laughs> on the Station Cafe. And we'll see you next week. Bye, Kelly. Bye, April.